this week's uh, reading in a channeled clip. Hey guys, so I'm just jumping on to do this week's um, little uh, tarot reading in clip. Um, and I'll just read what first what um, I had got um, from just tuning into the energy, raising your vibration energy this week um, as we're heading into the deep part of the vortex, what we call the awakening at the time of the Great Awakening. We have evolved so much uh, from this point, but more is to come. An opening of the top is yet to come, but we are heading into what's called the deepest parts of evolution, the, the pivotal point. And that's the darkest point, not meaning evil or, you know, fear based, but the shadow, right? The overcasts, you know, going in into the tunnel um, and evolving through that. You know, some people might want to call it the, you know, the belly of the dragon or something like that. Um, but what we're coming into this. So as we're coming into this this year, meaning there will be lots of change on our personal level and a macro level. And we'll see it's all around you and even within yourself. And so it might feel like you're being lifted up out of the muck or dragged through it. If you're not practicing raising your vibration, but know it is all purposeful no matter where you are and what you're going through or experiencing, it'll be over soon. And so it is that which we will get more on later as we move forward and opening the gateway and going forward into this year. Awakening is not always fun, but we'll be glad when it's done because think new things will arise from the rubble so that which you can create. And so it's manifesting itself into something more and new as we move forward through this time of year, because there's a lot of things that we don't want. And so I did a little video on, you know, thinking about, you know, when we manifest, we're always thinking about stuff that we do want, but in order to have stuff that we do want, we have to get rid of the old stuff. In order for the old stuff to go away, we have to kind of bring it up and deal with it if we haven't dealt with it. And so it's the changing of the times, which is the bringing forth that which was into which is so that we can get rid of and make what we want that will be, right? And so it's the changing of the times, it's experience. And so a lot of times we see and experience and go through things that we don't want. But it's necessary in order for that to happen, unfortunately, um, because it's not been dealt with. It's just been laid there. And I talk about it as like the glass full of muddy water when it sits and it's not dealt with or looked at, you know, all the mud sinks to the bottom and the top is just a clear top of water. And so when you start, when you're wanting something else, it kind of just sitting there and all the muck is at the bottom. And then when you start going, wanting something else and moving into something else, you know, it starts getting stirred up and then you have to deal with it. Right. And so that's just the way that it is way that's been created and so a uh, card pull um, I have that here so starting with this card here um, the three of swords so this can represent depending on where you are you know this is just a generic reading and it depends on where you are right so this can either be the ending of situations for you or it can be heartbreak right so it really depends on your situation right first card and then the second card usually I just pull three cards so this because I needed clarifiers I pulled more cards um, so no matter what this is whether it's an ending or heartbreak for you at this time um, you're going to be it's an indicator for you to take a look at your emotions what you're wanting what you're wanting to create and is this um, what I'm already in is it worth it right or is it what is it something that I'm working on Right. So either we're either in the situation wanting something new or we're here wanting something more. Right. If that makes sense. And so it depends on your situation. So I'm either not in a situation that I want or I'm in a situation that I don't want, if that makes sense. And so either way, you're going to be looking at your emotions, um, tuning into yourself, getting real with yourself. Right valuing yourself look at yourself from the higher perspective not the situation right this is a queen so we're looking at it from a higher perspective consciousness looking at our situation here our emotions our love is ooh, is it true to me is it um, is it authentic is it worth it you know what is it that's in my experience that i need to look at right and um 
um, the emperor also, right? And so it's dealing with that, bringing in the energy of creation, your divine energy, right? The master, um, the emperor, right? And, and follow through, right? Bring in that energy to follow through with it, you know? Um, because a lot of times I know a lot of, I mean, I've been in that situation where, even like, for instance, in a relationship, it's like, all right, I'm not happy here, and then it's good for a moment, and then you get into an argument, and it's like, oh, it's just not working, <laughs> you know? But then we don't leave. We stay, and we say we're leaving, but then we don't leave, and then we stay, and then we, it, you know, and it's just, it's about, you know, making that come to fruition, right? Make the choice, look at your situation, and take action, right? Put your power into it, right? Um, connect to um, the emperor within you, right? And so having taken clarifier cards on the queen of cups in this situation is this something that can happen very fast. Uh, you may not even be aware of it. And so it may hit you or it may um, be very a bumpy road, right? <laughs> so it's either going to be very fast for you or it's going to be a bumpy road. Um, and this came with the, the king, the emperor, right? And so this is about abundance, wealth. What am I looking at? What am I trying to manifest? What do I really want? You know, because when you look at your true uh, things that you're wanting in your life, you know, um, what are we manifesting, right? What is it that we're wanting? And then this is showing that you have the strength and power to do it and to move through it in um, whatever we're going through this week. And so you have the strength to move on and move forward through this week and uh, move through these things that were going to be presented to you. Um, and then I hope you guys have a great week. Like, subscribe, and share. Happy journeys.